Have you ever wondered how cyclones form and why they rotate in different directions in different hemispheres? This fascinating natural phenomenon is a result of multiple atmospheric conditions and Earth's rotation, a spectacle of nature's power and mystery. Imagine a large-scale air mass, a cyclone, rotating around a strong center of low atmospheric pressure. These cyclones are marked by inward spiraling winds. They whirl counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. And when they reach their peak, they can bring about severe weather conditions, including powerful winds, heavy rainfall, and storm surges. So, how does a cyclone form? It all starts over warm ocean waters. The sea surface temperature needs to be at least 26 and a half degrees Celsius or around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This warmth provides the necessary heat and moisture to fuel a cyclone. As the sun heats the ocean surface, the warm air rises, creating a low pressure area. This is where the Earth's rotation comes into play, causing the moving air to be deflected. This results in a rotation around the low pressure center. This is known as the Coriolis effect and it's the reason cyclones rotate counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and clockwise in the southern hemisphere. As the system gains energy from the warm ocean waters, a disturbance begins to form. This disturbance then organizes into a more defined circulation pattern with a well-defined center, known as the eye. As long as it remains over warm water, the cyclone continues to intensify, drawing energy from the ocean. On the other hand, we have anticyclones. These are high-pressure systems where the air moves outward from a central high-pressure region. Unlike cyclones, anticyclones are associated with descending air and generally bring about fair weather conditions. The wind around an anticyclone circulates clockwise in the northern hemisphere and counterclockwise in the southern hemisphere. Anticyclones often bring clear skies, light winds, and stable atmospheric conditions. In summary, Cyclones and anticyclones are remarkable demonstrations of nature's power. They are formed by a combination of atmospheric conditions and the Earth's rotation, resulting in fascinating, yet potentially dangerous, weather phenomena. Whether it's the counterclockwise rotation of a cyclone in the northern hemisphere, or the clockwise rotation of an anticyclone in the southern hemisphere, these weather systems are a testament to the complex and incredible nature of our planet's atmosphere.